Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I do stuff. And today what I'm doing is I'm changing the brake pads on my 2003 Dodge Dakota. This is just a quick tip about changing brake pads because I've done other videos about changing brake pads. And uh, it's all pretty much the same, but here's a tip that you might not know about. Sometimes when you get a new set of pads, you'll notice that they're really, really tight in the, in the existing hardware. You know, you, you try and put them in and they don't fit or they fit really, really tight and don't move. Well, here's something that you need to understand about brake pads. You see these surfaces here and here? These are put here so that the pads can slide freely back and forth as they clamp against the rotor and release. If they're real tight in here, then they can't release. They'll clamp down and then they'll stay pretty much engaged and they'll always be rub rubbing against the rotor. You do not want that. Ideally, these are supposed to float. Now the metal that these are made out of is not a hardened metal. So what I've been able to do is use just a, a regular file. I got this one at Harbor Freight. It's not terribly expensive. And I've been able to file the surfaces where the brake pads engage. And I'll show you one that I've done. See, I just filed that down a little bit to give it a little bit more leeway so that ideally this should be able to fit in here just like that and move freely. Now, I'm still working on this one. It's still a little bit tight. I don't like that. Here's a couple that I've already done. And then you can see that I even hit them with a little bit of black paint so that they don't rust as quickly. And if you watch this, see? That is what you want. You want it to be able to move freely back and forth. You don't want to take out so much material that they're floppy or that they have risk of coming out, but you want them to be able to move. Here's the other one that I've done. And this will just go in here like this. And you see that? Nice and free. That's what you want. And then I'm going to use brake grease on these surfaces right here and here and inside these little grooves here and I also apply a little grease where the pads contact the caliper and uh, and the cylinder but never ever grease your rotors never put grease on the surface of your pads keep the grease away from that you don't want any lubricant on the surface of your braking apparatus, just in between the moving parts. So that is a quick tip about what to do when you get pads and they're too tight. This is Clay Carlino telling you to be brave.